Hello everybody and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last video we got to this big and very very empty room and uh, in the middle you can look out and you can see there's three possible paths but there's only one that we can actually really take. It's glowing so that pretty much indicates come over here it's important so let's come over here and see what we can do. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of this picture because I don't really want to fall off the edge. That's not my cup of tea. And we're just going to continue on. And I, it's seriously, the, they just never end. And I, I don't even remember if these guys make an appearance after this dungeon. I really don't remember, but I just know that it's just annoying to deal with them in this dungeon. Didn't really point out that they were a new enemy, but I'm sure you obviously figured that out by now. Now this is a rather interesting room, because all there is is just a strange looking statue. So let's check what this says. Seeker of the Goddess's Guidepost, press R to call me and guide me to my place of truth. Oh, okay, well, I'll use, use you. I'll call you here. And Link actually speaks, because he actually says, come on, he's not just making a strange noise or something. Um, this is kind of where the puzzle part of this dungeon starts to begin. They, uh, they put this floor here just to be really, really mean to you. You can't pick this guy up and have enough room to carry him, so you have to kind of just wait until he follows behind you. That was really mean of them. <laughs> so it's not really a puzzle, it's more or less just uh, getting used to some random statue thing following you. And then when you get to here, you can just jump. There we go. And uh, if if you do drop him, or you die, or not die, but you like fall down here or something, for example, he would just go back to the room that he was in. So make sure not to drop him and bring him safely to this room. I don't know if you noticed when we came in this room, but uh, the three panels on the floor and the panel in the middle all have the same symbol. So we have to do a little bit of puzzle work here bringing these guideposts back to the area, as this little statue put it. And uh, when I came in here last time, I thought that it, that had already appeared, so that's why I said this room is empty, and then I realized that we had to do that first. So, anyways, let's get our Wind Waker here, and uh, let's learn this song. And this song is going to be used so much in this dungeon, being that it is like the dungeon's song, I guess you can call it. Oops, wrong way. Here we go. This is our first four note song. So you have to use four four time. And this is the command melody. So this is this is a rather interesting melody. I actually really like this feature. My kin wait beyond the doors. Control them and guide them to their places of truth to open the path to the gods. Ooh, fancy. Okay. Well, I'm up for a challenge. So our objective is to get all three of these statues back to their guideposts. So you have to do them in an order. It doesn't really give you a choice. So let's go to the store next. And... I, would, I, I don't think at this point you can get rid of these guys. I think you kind of have to ignore them. Yeah, because you, you'll burn every time you try to get, try to get near them. So I'm just going to try my best to ignore them. Um, but they just they just will not leave you alone once they catch sight of you. So I don't know. I guess I'm just going to have to get hurt and try to find my way here. Would you seriously just piss off? Oh, you can't hurt them, but I don't recommend it because you will probably get burned. But anyways, after that long, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> sentence of words that I was saying that didn't really make any sense, let's jump over this way here. God, these guys are so annoying because they, they get in your way too, like I can't see anything. And we have our second statue. Okay, so this guy's a little bit different. You can call him, just like the first time. But there is no way that we are able to get across to the other side. So this is where the puzzling part of this kind of comes in. 
this is, like I said before, this is rather interesting. I actually quite like this feature. Um, if you play the command melody near one of these statues, and sometimes other inanimate objects or people, you can take command of it. And if you look at Link's face, uh, I guess you can't really see Link's face from here, but um, he just says, he's just in this little trance. It's really funny. So now you're in control of the statue, and uh, you need w Link to weigh down the other side while the statue gets over to the other side safely, and then once you're here, you can return to Link. So Command Melody is going to be used quite a bit to get all those guideposts back to their original spots. So let's go on through, and these guys can't walk through doors by the way, I guess I didn't really mention that, and I don't know if it was really obvious or anything, but you do have to actually manually carry them. Um, okay, other way around. He will wait here for you as well, so if you want to put him down and go to that room, feel free, he will sit here and wait for you, so. And the King of Red Lines is buzzing right now, he, he's gonna tell us that, what I just told you. Basically, that if you want to leave him here, you can leave him here. Go away. I think they can actually- okay. I was gonna say, I think they can actually knock you down, but it's kind of a relief that they can't. I'd rather him just hit me than actually knock me out of the air, because I don't really want to be stuck here forever. So let's just ignore him. And come up with this room. Okay. So it's mini boss time against this guy here. Uh, these guys are armored and they can take a beating, but they're pretty easy to defeat. All you gotta do is target onto them and wait for the action command. Except sometimes you don't get the action command, which is the back, which is kind of crappy because then you have to try to get to its backside like that and then once you get its armor off it's really easy to defeat. I also recommend trying if you can get his helmet off to get the knight's crest that he has. If you remember we're trying to collect those for Orca and uh, there there is a really limited supply in this game so if you can try to get it. Uh, if not he might drop it in the little orb. Hopefully he does. Ooh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what this dungeon's item is. But first, there we go. There's a Knight's Curse. Let's pick that up. And the rest of the stuff. And then we're gonna go see what we get. We get the bow and arrow. The hero's bow. So we get this relatively early in the game. It feels so weird that Child Link is using this item, but anyways, I'm gonna replace it with my boomerang because anything the boomerang could do, the arrows can do, and I'm there it is. I was looking for his weapon because as you saw, he swung at that pillar and it fell down. So if we swing at these pillars, they will fall down, and I think they give us maybe rupees, maybe hearts. I don't know. I just want to open them up and see. I I, I don't I can't imagine that they give us anything too good, but. It's always worth trying. Okay, a rupee and a heart. I guess I'll take it. Why not? And oh my god, now that we have the bow, we can easily take care of those stupid flaming skulls flying in the air. I don't know their original or their name, and for Zelda fans, I kind of don't care. There we go. Goes jerk off. Yes! My aim is usually awful, I'm so surprised that worked. Okay, let's hit that eye. And let's cause the platforms to go. So now we can bring that statue back to its original place. And uh, if you've noticed, there have been some eyeballs in this dungeon previously. And that's where we're going to go and get our other items that we missed. Um, I said we have to do some backtracking, and now that we have the bow, pretty much every single item in this dungeon is accessible. So once I bring the statue back, I'm probably just gonna cut to uh, me getting some treasure. There we go. Bring him across. I don't know when those guys became evil, but oh well. He's gonna slowly 
I don't know, hop his way over there, I guess. And we've only got one more to go, and then we'll unlock the third and final part of this dungeon. And we're actually almost done, which is mind-blowing, isn't it? We just got here. Anyways, now I'm going to cut to some backtracking and some other items that we uh, missed earlier that is now accessible with the bow, and of course, I would go the wrong way at first. That is the room we're supposed to be going in. Okay, so the first treasure that we come back to get after I destroy that jerk is in the room with the compass. You notice there's a big eye behind where the compass was, so let's shoot that eye, and we'll actually be able to get another treasure. And let's go grab it. It looks kind of important. Uh, most of the treasures in here are unfortunately kind of like the Forbidden Woods, where there are a lot of really unimportant things like joy pendants and stuff. But this one's a treasure chart, so this is the first one. We can grab another one in here before we leave. So that's pretty cool. I recommend coming back and getting this one because it's so easy and it's pretty much at the very, very start of the dungeon. So let's leave and get the rest of the treasures that we missed. Now we're going to come back here to the room where we got our first statue. You notice there's some new enemies. There's the whizrobes, which are just... I hate whizrobes so much. Anyways, I'm going to try to ignore him and just shoot that eye. That will allow another platform to come out. And if we go to this one, we'll be able to get to some treasure. Um, yeah, whizrobes are just super annoying. They're another kind of new enemy we haven't seen before, but trust me, you will see them uh, from this point on in the game, and they are definitely just... Ugh. Um, I don't think we've seen these enemies either. These guys are new. When they open their mouth, you just throw a bomb into it, it'll s swallow it, and it'll spin around and eventually explode. Uh, there we go. Oh, not quite. Really easy enemy to defeat. You just gotta make sure that you don't... Uh, be near it when it's exploding. There we go. And for defeating those guys, we will get two, not only a treasure chest, but two orbs we can open up for some stuff. I always like breaking open these. It's just, it's just like a goodie bag when you used to go to birthday parties as a kid. You know, like parents would always buy goodie bags and give everyone a prize. You'd always just be so curious to see what you'd get. And he's a joy pendant, unfortunately. But, oh well. At least that's one less treasure we have to worry about. And now we can pretty much go back to where we uh, left off. Those are the only two treasures I believe that are, oh crap, not falling, um, that you can actually get that you would have quote unquote missed. So let's go down. I'm just... You'll see me lose a lot of health to these guys, because if they, they're they not necessary to defeat, I'm just going to ignore them. And of course I went the wrong way. Go away. Killed him that time. Payback for hurting me. Alright, so now that we're back here... I think it's pretty much dead ahead. We need to go. It's glowing, duh, of course we need to go there. And this is another puzzle. So this is actually a, uh, a weight puzzle. So, uh, let's see, let's put one on there. One on there. And let's put Link on there. I want to get down to this one here because I'm pretty sure there's, a, there's just a chest in this area. But I want to grab it, obviously before moving on because there's a few possible places to go from this point. I don't know if you saw that when we came in but there's a few doors and I wonder if I have to just kind of sacrifice a little bit of health here. There we go. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Restock my bombs. And in this room, I don't even think you need to defeat these guys. I think all you need to do is come in here and play the Wolf of the Winds Requiem. And I think I did it in the wrong spot because it didn't give me cueing music. 
Now I need to do it over here on this little wind symbol. There we go. There's my cue music here sound. Oh, and now they come to life. So you don't need to defeat them to get this chest, but they will uh, come to life once you actually play the song, so... I'm just gonna get my chest and leave, though. We get our second treasure chart, so... Well, that's awesome! We got all the good treasure, and now we just gotta weed out and get the rest of the crappy treasure in this dungeon. And see you later! I think that's it for this video though, I'm gonna meet you guys back in this room in the next video now that there's only really forward to go and we will soon be done in this dungeon I hope. So thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker and I hope I will see you all next time.